Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical Sam, bringing you Monk Monday number 124. For those of you who don't know what this is, you send any gameplay you have to this email right here, and I critique it, I review it. Any gameplay, twos, threes, RBGs, Soul Shuffle, Mythic Plus, Raids, anything. I've done it all. Mistweaver, Windwalker. I've done every single type of gameplay. Um, any MMR, please send in. Doesn't matter what MMR you are, I am more than happy to critique any any gameplay you have. So today we have Keg Walker or Curse Walker, and we are looking like some shuffle. We have two shuffles. We have two shuffles. Um, he says in the email, um, <laughs> I th uh, here's a link to, to my shitty monk gameplay. I've been playing this for a few months now. I mean, you're not, you're not going to be insane at something that you've only started a few months ago. So, I mean, just the fact that you want to get better is really good. Um, any tips would be greatly appreciated. I got you. Um, yeah, I got you. So let's just jump right into it. We got one shuffle here. It looks like we got Mistweaver, Devastation Evoker, some rogue spec. It looks like our gear is looking at like 412 item level. Um, versatility is good. Mastery and Haste are both kind of low. Kind of low. Um, first Mastery Chest is good. Yeah, this is fine. The versatility is fine, but for some reason your Mastery and Haste are like hella low. So... I would focus if your if your primary focus is on solo shuffle. <coughs> excuse me. If your primary focus is solo shuffle, I would I would prioritize haste verse. So on one of my monks, I only do shuffle because that's pretty much that's all I do on it. I don't want to push arena on it. So I go full haste verse from the PvP vendors. I have like thirty one percent haste, fifty percent mastery, and like twenty nine percent verse. So go for full haste verse. If you're doing a mix of normal arena and shuffle, I would go verse mastery. I on my main, I, I obviously I do it all, so I do have different sets, but on my main set with my, uh, for a normal arena, I do verse mastery, so I have like 130% mastery, 27% verse with like 14% haste, so it just depends on what kind of gameplay you like. I like that we're putting a port down instantly. We're playing against Fury Warrior Boomy, so what I would play versus this, I don't know what race we are. I'm trying to see if I'm seeing a racial or if I'm just blind, um, but if you aren't Gnome, I would probably go Zen Focus T, Disarm, Zen Spheres, just because you can Zen Focus T, potentially get a Rebeam, and if you don't, you can always Disarm the Warrior d during Rebeam, so that's really good. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I do. Uh, good Hots here as well, putting on the Devastation Invoker, the healing here. Do we have our statue? So one, one thing right here, <clears throat> your statue's not going to heal your teammates. Well, if we jump down, they will. But you're, right now, your statue is out of your line. So you want to make sure. It's really annoying. Trust me, it's really annoying. But you're going to have to do it. You get used to replacing your statue depending where you move around on the map. It's just it's just easier that way. Um, because you're going to miss out on a lot of healing from your statue. Statue is actually decent. So this is instantly a disarm right here. Uh, we got a big... <laughs> avatar in the middle of our screen. We're looking for uh, we're looking for a disarm of the warrior here, because um, we're gonna be taking some heat. I also throw out a Zen Focus T, because it looks like this is balanced druid cooldowns, but it's more importantly it's your it's the warrior cooldowns. So if your warrior if the warrior is using cooldowns and you get like root beamed, you're you're gonna fall behind. You're gonna have to trinket or something. So I would just go for the disarm instantly here. Oh, we're playing with an Asarug as well, so that's that's okay. Um, but we're doing a good job of healing here. It looks like we got soon. Yeah, we do get root beamed. Again, that would have been a nice time to use on Focus T. Um, we do have Cocoon potentially. That looks like Revival there. Good. We're playing Peace Weaver. Um, let's kick from the Warrior. So now they have no kicks. Cocoon on the Devastation Evoker, which is fine. Healers. <laughs> okay. I wish every DPS I played with had this week. Or, um, yeah, we we are Cycloned. Um, we're doing Mists are good. Good port. Good job putting your port down. We still don't have our statue healing though, so keep that in mind. We got Enveloping Mist out. We got a Renewing Mist out. We're doing good with our healing output. Um, looks like we're just going to chill here. Yeah, try to go in for some CC now. Yeah, now it's your turn. So hopefully we have a in-cap sweep. Nice. Do we miss that? No, no, we got the leg sweep. Good. Do we have in-cap off that? No. But we do have disarm, though. We are playing disarm, so that's really good. Um, let's keep that in mind. Good job. No, that was a good round. Good round. The only thing is... When uh, it looks like we're playing disarm, so just disarm the warrior on the cooldowns. What you want to do normally, what I what I try to do is I try to trade disarm for solar beam. So if I get root beamed or silence from a shadow priest, I'll try to disarm the melee because the cooldowns kind of line up. But overall, that was a really good round. Um, also, don't forget your statue. So we're playing peace. We've let me let me let me peek this build real quick. Uh, yeah, this build looks really good. 
yeah, for shuffle. Well, yeah, if we're running mastery versus mastery, it's fine. If you, if you're playing more haste, you kind of want misty peaks here. But besides that, that's fine. Like if you wanted to, if you're running haste, you could drop like this right here, and then many proliferation. And I think it was tier serenity, many proliferation, put it into misty peaks. But I think besides that, the build's fine. This is probably the most important talent. Um, Peace weaver disarm is fine. You, I would, I would also. Uh, Zen Spheres is really good. Zen, Zen Spheres is very, very strong. So keep that in mind. I mean, it's just a 10% damage bonus to your, to somebody and then 15% healing, 15% healing. So keep that in mind. Like, it's it's very strong. So um, we are playing against Rogue, Rogue Boomy. So, or no. What are we playing against right now? These are the same. Nothing's over here. That's weird. Okay. Playing against Fury Warrior, Devastation Invoker. Okay. So, and now that I know we're playing as a Devastation Evoker, you want to drop Normal Revival for Restoral because you want to be able to use Revival while stunned. Because if the Devastation Evoker gets a really good stun, like uh, Flame Breath stun on everybody, it's it's gonna get a uh, it's gonna get a little dicey if you don't have Restoral because he's gonna have a lot of damage while everyone's stunned. All right, trying to put a port down. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't like like Z axis. It doesn't like that. I guess they want to play up top again. I don't think up top really works for them that much. I don't know. Uh, we port up. We get stunned on it. We port down. <laughs> I, I like it. I do like it. Uh, you might want to normally save that second. We do smoke bomb, actually. This is our go here. Good, good. Maybe a little CC on. Nice getting cap on the Druid. We're feared full. Still a nice in cap. We trinket for the sweep. Okay. Druid trinkets. So trinket for a trinket. We'll see how that goes. I mean, I mean, as long as Devastation Invoker doesn't get us in the go, they don't really have much for us. Um, nice Cyclone on the Druid there. Probably want to disarm the Warrior. We did disarm the Warrior. Beautiful. Beautiful. Really, really good disarm. Um, and then we Revival as well, which is fine. If, if it's Dragon Rage, it should be okay. I don't see a Focus Frame. Is this a Focus Frame? Yeah. I'm assuming this is a Focus Frame. So... This might be a target frame, actually. I can't tell which. Oh, no, it's a target frame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. All right. That was pretty good. Um, I was just trying to figure out if it was Dragon Rage for a good revival. But, yeah, that was a good revival, I guess. Yeah. Um, good disarm on the warrior as well. Your second port, especially if you're playing Eminence, should always be when you're out of a stun. That way you get the cooldown reduction on Eminence. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Very, very important. Um. But now we're playing we're playing against Devastation Evoker Boomy now. So I'm trying to think. Nothing you can disarm, so you don't need to run disarm. Probably still want to run Restoral just because you don't want to get triple stunned and then you don't have healing. Um, Zen Focus is good. And then Zen Sphere is probably solid too. You could run Eminence instead of Zen Sphere if you want to play more defensive. But yeah, good. Yep, good. Perfect. Yeah, I guess it's more... Do you want to be offensive or defensive, really? Like, Eminence is good defensively if you think they're going to go you. But I definitely like Zen Sphere because I like to play <laughs> pretty aggressive. So, um, Boomy's getting dots out. I think Dragon was maybe looking for a sleepwalk on you there, but we opened with a Garot on the Druid or on the Dragon. Um, good healing here. We got our statue up as well. So, whenever you see the Dragon go for some kind of Dragon Rage, uh, is normally when you want a revival. That's normally when they Dragon Rage. So, keep that in mind. Uh, don't want to be stacked up versus them. I one thing I do notice is I don't see like a DR tracker anywhere. So that's one thing. Um, I would maybe get like diminish, which is a really good add-on. It shows DRs. That way you could see if someone's like on in cap DR or fear DR. And we're playing human, so that's good to know. Um, we are so beamed here. And we don't have revival. Cyclone. Yeah, that, that's right there. That's when you want revival right there. That um, that fire breath, flame breath. But we got good renewing mist going out right now. Be healing smoke bomb, going for the boomy. Anything for the druid? We have incap right now. Yes, good. Also, I noticed that we're when we're going for CC that we are um like we're we're targeting them. You, I would recommend maybe some arena one two three macros or even a focus macro. You know, I think you have the. Druid on focus here, I would assume. 
yeah, this is the Druid focus frame here or target. Um, you can make a focus in cap macro or focus or arena one, two, three macros. They all work. Uh, everyone, it just depends on what you're comfortable with. Good. Make sure you get renewing mist on Mikey. Good. Soothing mist. Good. Good. Renewing mist goes there. Perfect. Riley's going to fall. Should be fine though. Cause everyone's full health. Uh, we're looking for maybe a rop on the Druid on that regrowth. We don't, we don't need to have disarm. Boom, boom. We're doing good. Rop on, we get sleepwatch, how to rop the uh, thing. That sometimes doesn't work because I have the hover that allows them to move while casting. Move, yeah. So then they can just get it for free even though you rop it. Uh, Mikey, I don't know. I don't know if Mikey had any cooldowns here. Um, and we also didn't have trinket. We do have, we're trying to incap something. I think we're trying to incap the cyclone, but he gets the timing right. Um, we have Thunder Focus T and Velping, potentially. Actually, we have Yulon. Nice. Good Yulon. It's such an awkward global though. And Thunder Focus Team Velping Mist here. I would have gone for Thunder Focus Team Velping Mist here 100%. Um, I don't know if we would have kept him alive. I, would, I definitely would have done the same thing that you did, right? Because we get cloned, stunned, boom, we come out. I would have definitely went for the Yulon. Yeah, I would have done the exact same thing you did. Um, except I would have went for a Thunder Focus Team Velping to make it instant, and, except you go for a Soothing Mist. So just keep that in mind. If you need the instant healing, it's not ideal, right? Obviously, it's not ideal. But if you have to, just go for the Thunder Focus Team Belping. It's, it's just the best thing you can do um, when someone's that low. But I think overall, it wasn't bad. Um, I would also recommend getting like Omni CD to track cooldowns of your teammates. Uh, so what are we playing against? Playing against Boomy Rogue. So the Rogue, Rogue's been opening pretty aggressive in the opener. Um from what I can tell, like the rogue, I think last game opened up with a smoke bomb. And I think even the game before that, um, and he's asked some rogue. So disarm is really good. Peace fever is really good. Um, Zen focus T is, is decent. Yeah. It looks like your devastation evoker wants to go boomy, which is fine. Yeah. Just try to CC the healer where you see them go for their go. But besides that, you should be fine. So let's see what we got. Devastation, Devastation Evokers are weird to have on your team. They're like, sometimes if they don't know how to kite, they're really hard to heal. So they need to know how to kite. Oh, we succeed. Rogue opens up on your warrior. Clone on you is full. The, the good thing, the good and bad thing, clone is really annoying, but the good thing about clone is that DR is blind. So there's a good chance that you can just like trinket one if you have to. Because you'll be CC'd on, you'll be on Fear DR. So, um, Bashed here into a root beam. Ah, we did a good, good job there. Yeah, we didn't have to trinket, which is really good. I would also Yulon too. This is a, a good amount of damage. Yulon will help with mana. Go for an incap here on the Druid uh, with no trinket, which is really good into a sweep. So good. It's half. I couldn't tell if it was half or not. I could be blind. There could be a spot where it shows DRs, but I don't see it. Um, but we're doing a really good job. Yeah, yeah. This is this is really good for us. Um, positioning wise, we're looking. The, um, we, we you want to stay far from the boomy, like as as far as you can. Even though you're tunneling them to the ground, you want to get close to like this pillar or this one. First of all, I don't even think playing up top is ideal um, when you're playing with. I mean, maybe not for them actually, because the boomy can't really run. The row can't run. I think this is actually good for you guys and not them. But I would say for you, you want to position like on this pillar. Like right here on the corner or like right here. I would actually just choose right here just because this pillar is a little awkward. You can kind of get like Typhoon into here and rooted LOS. But here you should be okay. So I would I would get to this pillar and just kind of LOS away from the boomy. N that way it's really hard for them to get Cyclones. Because look at how like look at how much damage the boomy's taken. They're, boomy's in bear form. The Druid has to heal them the entire time. So you're, you're kind of... They can't get to you, right? They, they shouldn't be able to get to you. Uh, we do ROP. This is fine too. This, this pillar is fine too if they're going to play in the corner. That's completely fine. We roll in. Hopefully we have a sweep. We have an. I think we incapped, but it broke. Death mark on your invoker. So blind full. That's fine. Trinket is fine. Um. So we miss. Good. Yep. Make sure you get redoing mist on Mikey though. But yeah, kick that. Nice. Good uh, stun from the evoker. Really good. Yeah, we definitely want to reposition though, like on probably this pillar. Because they're moving around a lot. And this is what? This is the uh, Arjun right here? No, this is a Boomy right here. So, I don't know what our team's doing, actually. I think we're swapping off the Boomy. Definitely stay Boomy. I think Boomy's definitely the kill target. Um, Rogue can actually die, too. But, 
Yeah, you get close to the pillar. Yep. The Zen Focus T is really good. Don't want to get kicked here. I mean, actually, actually, it's not good because uh, neither of them have kick. Yeah, my bad. I I didn't know. I didn't see that we were tracking kicks here. Yeah, you didn't need to Zen Focus T here because they didn't have any kicks available. So uh, normally I try to save Zen Focus T for when root beam is available because sometimes you can just um you can root beam the root you can Zen Focus T the root beam and then just spell your root and you should be fine. Looks like we're trying to go RG right now. So if, whenever my team decides to like swap targets or you know it doesn't matter really what target I try to CC the off target. So if you have in cap available, which I think you do in eight seconds, I just kind of go for an in cap on the boomy. That way there's no spam cyclones going out. Um, if you see the rogue going for a kidney shot or it gets a kidney shot, maybe you could probably disarm the rogue, in cap the boomy, completely shut down their go. And that way your teams can stay aggressive uh, is normally what I would do. Because um, you're just trying to live the goes versus rogue, right? Every kidney shot, you're just trying to live it. Looks like this is our evoker damage. So maybe the boomy just dies. Beautiful. Yeah, really good. Only thing on this round, just make sure, try to position far from the boomy. Um, if the boomy's in bear form and they are taking a lot of damage, they're going to have a very hard time trying to CC you, trying to cyclone you. So keep that in mind. The farther you play away, the, <laughs> the easier the games are as well. Uh, so that's normally what I try to do, at least. Just try to stay far away. Go for an in-cap leg sweep if you can, and then port out as well. Try to use, utilize your port. Uh, the pure... The, the poor Fury Warrior was kind of, the damage was was a little rough last game. I think he was getting kited or rooted a lot, so that kind of sucks. But the Devastation Evoker was cranking. So we are playing Boomy Warrior versus Asa Rogue Devastation Evoker. Yeah, run down the Devastation Evoker. Hopefully your Fury Warrior has a slow, and you can you can just run him down. You can even kill the Rogue if you wanted to. You could kill, you could actually, the good thing about versus this comp is you can kill anything. <laughs> so that option is really good. You do get sapped, but someone breaks. I think the Evoker broke it. Um, this is our Thunder Focus T. Let's see what we do with it. We get some hots going out. Good. Uh, smoke, ring a piece on the Smoke Bomb is beautiful. Great job. We trinket the blind. I wonder if we had to trinket the blind. Let's see. Um, maybe. Maybe had to trinket the blind. I I don't know, the DR gouge on you is good as well. Well, good for you, not good for them. Uh, the Rop was really good on the Smoke Bomb. Good healing here. Try to get CC on the Druid. Good, good, nice. He dodges the root Beam. This is our Yulon. Going for maybe a sweep or something on the Druid. Be, I, yeah, be careful right now. I, we are. We just had to use Life Cocoon. So this is their go, right? Like, they use their Death Mark. Their, their go is starting to go. Like, it's, it's almost your turn to go. But, like... Be careful when you're trying to CC while your teammates are dying because I think we trade. You could easily heal through this damage because they only have one range interrupt. I guess the rogue could step kick you, but they only have one range interrupt, and that's the evoker. But if you stay 40 yards away, you, you're they can't kick you. They can't kick you. So we push in while we're taking damage, and we try to go for a sweep, and we go for a life cocoon. Or they, they get life cocoon. So we do get trinket from the druid, though, which is really good. But just keep that in mind. When, when your team is the one taking damage, just... Just relax. Just you know, heal. Just just focus on healing. Keep your team alive when the other team is doing damage. And then when it's your turn, you know, when you see your boomy use the incar and your warriors just use their their burst cooldowns, then you can you can go for incap sweep. Um, but just be careful when you're trying to get CC while your teammates are dying. Otherwise, you're probably gonna have to use a cooldown. Um, that is some damage coming out from the evoker Garot as well onto Mikey. Big damage here. Good. We're healing through it. Um, Rogue doesn't have a kick. The Evoker does. So just keep that in mind. But that, that's only one kick available. So that's really good for you. Disarming the Rogue here. It looked like. Yep. That looked like. The, yep. Perfect. Good. Uh, Sleepwalker on USDR, DR, which is really good for you. Because that's really the only DR they have. They have a DR on Cyclone, which is Fear or Sleepwalk. And then they also have Stuns. But that's pretty much all they got. Um, nice and Focus T because both kicks are available. He kicks into it to get Precog. I don't think he kicked you then. Must not have. Okay. Or we don't have precog. And we get another sleepwalk. All right. <laughs> this is really good. So now they really have no kicks. The evoker isn't kicking you. So just heal. Get your renewing mist out on both people. Definitely want to prioritize that. Because I feel like we've been healing a while. Yeah. So let's see. We have. Let me see. Where's our renewing mist? I don't know where our renewing mist is. Oh, right here. So we have renewing mist here. Remember, when you vivify, when you press vivify, it also heals targets that have renewing mist on them. So three people are dying right now. If you have three renewing mist out, they're going to get healed for that vivify heal. So make sure you get your renewing mist out on yourself, especially 
but it's and and your DPS, and then all these vivifies, you'll be able to heal, keep everyone alive. Um, and then also use your healing elixirs to keep yourself alive too. These are instant cost no mana, which is perfect because in 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 shuffle usually you know comes down to mana. Maybe going for a CC here on the druid. Yep, life cocoon on Mikey. We have a sweep here. Good, good double sweep here. Treating it from the rogue. Nice healing on you. Good. 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 Yep. We have renewing mist out, which is really solid. Barkskin from the druid. That's a flame breath from the dragon. So keep that in mind. Be careful. Bash on you. Blind. I don't know what that blind is. Bash on you though. Be careful. Nice port. Really good. It's DR. Rogue kicks. Nothing. Really good. Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, you could just you could just heal. Yeah, you you could just heal. They have no stun DRs. Death mark on you, but you 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 have a nice roll here. You there are no stun DRs right now, and there are no kicks. So I would just go. You have dampen harm, diffuse magic. I would probably use like a dampen harm, pop a healing elixir. It, oh no, you don't have one. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you have it now. I would use a dampen harm healing elixir, and then and then just start healing like. Um, you you shouldn't you should be fine to just free cast here. Nice, nice, good, good, good. Maybe a druid can maybe get like a cyclone on somebody would be nice. Dang, I'm I'm actually surprised because they were on you hard that game. I I wish your boomy got like right. You're with the boomy, right? Yeah, I wish your boomy got like a clone or two. Like there's no fear or cyclone drs over here. Maybe there are. I just don't see drs, but um, it's a little unfortunate. I think that was a really close game. That was really, really. Uh, you know what you could have done? Nah, you've used your double port already, right? I was gonna say maybe you could roll off the edge, right? Like maybe could have incap something. Did we incap the rogue? Yeah, that was a good incap there. Diffuse magic and dampen harm. Yeah, and for them, I think this is dragon rage from the evoker. Yeah, dragon rage from the evoker. Dang, that's really unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. <clears throat> if we didn't have revival either, that sucks. Yeah, that was just a close game. Um, nice in cap on the road. You gotta peel for yourself though. A really, really nice in cap. That's normally what you want to try to do when you're being focused. So, we're playing Boomy Devastation versus Fury Acerok. I think the kill guard could just be Acerok. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think you just kill the Asarug. You could probably kill both of them, actually. So let's see where we go. Also, I really don't like playing up top, by the way. I think that's another thing. Um just stop playing up top. Yeah, this this is not good. Get your new miss out. Good, good. But like your evo your evoker and your boomy can't kite. Um like it's, it's, it, there's like no LOS here. <laughs> there's there's no LOS. It's rough. Um, this is going to be hard, too, because the Druid could just shift the root beam. So it's kind of on you to get CC. Nice. Nice. Oh, we used drop, but that's all right. Maybe if we sweep here, sweep the DPS. Oh, we already used sweep. Okay. So I'm focused here. Yeah, you don't want to be in this fight, by the way. That, you do not want to be stacked versus this at all. Warriors, I warriors, I try very hard to not stack again. So good job. Just stay far away. They have no range kicks. So when I play against something like this, I know that I could just heal the entire time. Because outside of the rogue step kick, that's that's it. That's all they have. So just heal. Disarm the warrior here if you have it. Oh, you have disarm in ten. Death mark as well. So this might be a cool. This have to be. This might have to be a cooldown because this is all their cooldowns. But right now we're doing a good job healing. Good. Nice, nice, good. Yulon here, perfect. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, we don't mind that. Who died? Was it, was it the warrior? Someone died fast. I want to see. But yeah, good job. Gouge here. Breaks. Good. Maybe it's the, it the rogue, actually. No, it's definitely the warrior. Boom. Nice. Awesome. Good job. Yeah, I don't... I didn't see much of an issue that you had this game, honestly. Um, I think you did a good job. Uh, one of the DPS went 1 and 5, so you also have to, you know, account for that. But I think overall this game was pretty solid. I on this map in particular, if I'm playing with casters, you pro you want to play down below. That way that they can kite around the pillar. 
slow them, kite around, use Rob to help your teammates kite. If I'm playing with melee, I mean, playing up top is fine, but again, they still soak a lot of damage. So normally you want to play down on this map, but overall, yeah, this, I think he did fine. Um, renewing miss as much as you can. Position near the pillar. Don't try to push in when your team's taking damage or when the other team's using their burst cooldowns because you're going to be forced to use a cooldown if you, you know, start falling behind. But I think overall, uh, good games. Yeah, uh, these weren't shitty. These weren't shitty at all. <laughs> so, yeah, good games. All right, we got a second shuffle. Oh, we got we got a little different one. All right, we got Arms Warrior, Arms Warrior maybe? Fury. Also, I would recommend Omni CD to track your teammates' cooldowns. Get to Minish to track DRs because it's just easier. It's a, it's it, it's really it's a lot of helpful information. So keep that in mind. Um, we are playing Disarm, Zen Focus T, and we are playing against Destro Lock, Havoc Demon Hunter. So Demon Hunters can die, Destro Locks can die. I think if you're playing, yeah, you're playing with a Warrior and a Rogue, you just want to run down the Warlock all game, just all game long. So this should be good. Let's see. We got 28 ma verse, 57 mastery, 11 haste. Still kind of low with for both verse and haste for our mastery and haste for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but I guess we'll see. I mean, the spec is looking solid. Shadow step, sap, shaman. Yeah, if you could stop, I don't know. Might be able to, but I don't. I don't know if you will or not. But we'll see. All right, renewing miss good. I don't think he can get the sap, which is fine. Uh, I don't know if sweeping is. I mean, sweeping is probably worth it. They, there are a lot of stuns on your team though. So when I play with like a lot of stuns, I just normally won't stun unless it's a healer. Um, so if if there's if the kill target's the warlock, I'll use my sweep on the on the resto shaman and not the warlock because I think rogue kidney shots and cheap shots. I think they they matter more. You know, like they get like buffs and damage increase, whatever, from their stuff. So I try not to stun DR the kill target, but I, if I have like multiple stuns plus what your warrior has stuns too. So just try to save your stun for the healer or any CC you have for the healer. That's a disarm on. Did we disarm? Yeah, we disarmed something. But I don't know who we disarmed. Disarm, by the way, is not good versus demon hunters. Um, what they can do is they can just backflip out and can get rid of it. So don't play disarm into demon hunters. Uh, they, they could just completely negate it, but your warriors are doing a lot of damage. So I'm not complaining about that. Your poor rogue is, <laughs> is almost get out damaged by the shaman. So, uh, hopefully we see something, you know, maybe a little nice last one. You is fine. Um, Zen focus T here, which is good. Hex on you. This is why you kind of want to stay close to the pillar. Um, well, I'm actually surprised your warrior died there. Wow. Um, do we not have life cocoon? Maybe we did. No, no, we didn't. All right. I'm very surprised, but you definitely don't want to be pushed in like this ever. Um, obviously, your team kind of your team kind of forces you to push in, right? Because they go in on the wrong side of the pillar, and like normally you want them to play over here so you can play here, but. I, I would, yeah, they kind of forced you in, but I would not stay pushed in for very long. Like, play here, you know? If they're here, play here. That way you could LOS with something. Even play here, like on this corner of the pillar, but pushing out here is not good. You can even play on this side of the pillar, too. Like a little, little, like, indent here on the wall. But yeah, I wouldn't play this far in because then you just get CC'd forever. You get hex for free here, you get lassoed. Um, I am surprised that your warrior does die, though. Oh, he's in a Shadow Fury. That's why. Huh. Yeah, that, that just sucks. That's just very unfortunate. Your, and plus, your rogue is doing negative damage, unfortunately. So, yeah, he, he almost got out damaged by the Shaman. <laughs> so, I think we're playing against... Let me think. We're playing against Warlock Rogue right now. So, Disarm for the Rogue. Zen Focus C for the Warlock. The third talent can be Eminence if you think they're going to go you, or it can be Zen Spheres. Completely up to you. I'd probably go Zen Spheres because I'm a little bit more greedy, but that's just me. Um, They might try to get a sap. Hopefully your Demon Hunter is able to eyes them out. Uh, we do push in here, so let's be careful. That's a lasso. We can kick that or incap it. Blind on you. We get stacked. Field Totem. We can kick. We can kill this. Good. 
Uh, I would just Yulon instantly, by the way. Normally, when I'm, when I'm starting to fall behind the start of a shuffle, the first cooldown I use is always Yulon. Always. I love her so much. So I would just Yulon to get the shield on people and then, you know, go for like maybe a Thunder Focus, the Enveloping, if there's kicks available. Hex on you as well as full is kind of rough. So this is why you want to kind of get closer to this pillar over here um, to get away. Nice end Focus T here, though, because there are like two or three kicks available now. Uh, rogue is just doing rogue things. They're doing more damage this round. That's a Chaos Nova from us. Shadow Fury from your Warlock or from their Warlock. Stun to everybody. So that's kind of good for you because that puts um, your DPS on stun you are from the Rogue. Okay, get shot on you is fine. Into a Hex. Hopefully we get a kick. We port. Yeah, that's another thing is if we're playing Eminence, you want to get value out of your port. So obviously it's being stacked in our port is not ideal. Um, it would have been good if you ported it though. I'm not going to lie. It would have been really sick. Uh, it doesn't look like we have to trinket though, which is good. Maybe get some CC on the shaman here. Good. Nice. Good. Good. We don't get a trinket, but still, it's solid. Kill the static field totem. Great. Good. Get your entering mist out. Perfect. Good. Cheap shots on your on your demon hunter. So be careful. Put your port down. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Rogue tries to kick you. Misses kick. We don't have anything for hex. So just be careful. Hex on you. Careful. Full on, it's full on you. We still have trinket. Um, and they actually break it, which is solid. Um, this is uh, shadow dance from the rogue. So if we have disarm, this is a good disarm. We have disarm in one. It's too late to disarm. So I wouldn't disarm now yet. Be careful. Incap shaman here is great. Into a sweep. Maybe kill the grounding next to you. Yes, good. Drop if you can. Oh, nice try. Nice, nice. We're doing good. We're doing a really good job right now. Really good job. Get get back to the pillar. You can even go go to this pillar if you want to, like on the side of the pillar. But just try your best to uh to get close to the pillar. Nice drop. Well, kind of. I actually dropped him away. At least, oh, it's because he moved the static field totem. Yeah. Um, but just be careful. They have kicks available. That's a plot, and you could trinket there. Careful. They have kick, kick, and kick. So, and we have Zen Focus T. Nice, good. Juke the Rogue. You should have precog on your gear, though. That's a really important embellishment. Nice. We're going for a sweep. We're going for an in-cap. That's fine. The Shaman's not healing right now. That's fine. Go for an in-cap off this. Oh, give me an in-cap. We have it. Oh, nice. Oh, wait, oh, we didn't kill him? Oh, my God. No, he's out. Yeah, if we can get any CC on the Shaman. Oh, man. Yeah, I think we could have won. Let me see. Yeah, Shadow Dance. Yeah, incap on the shaman here. Right? We have incap. That's okay. He, he's in the urban tree. Actually, he just kited out of his earthen wall and him. So and I'm glad no one's kicking you, which is really good. We still have Zen Focus T as well. Make sure you put Redoing Mist on yourself too. Shadow Fury. It, that's fine. That's actually hurting your rogue a lot. Because this is blade, so he wants to do damage. Good. Good. Lasso. Good in cap here. Good. We have sweep. Nice. Get the rope. Oh, that's okay. Maybe because nice. Good. Good. Oh my. That was a really back and forth match. Yeah, I would. Say the biggest thing I'm noticing is one: don't let your renewing mist fall on your teammates. Very, very important. If you can't get renewing mist on yourself, it's okay because you could just use healing, healing elixirs. But you want to make sure you keep renewing mist on your teammates and then stay close to a pillar. Um, almost. If you had your port on the other side of the pillar that one time, it would have been really good. Um, that way you don't fall behind, but just keep that in mind. You um, you don't want to be out in the open as a misweaver. You, you never want to. You can get swapped to. You can get CC forever, uh, which is really unfortunate. So it's unfortunate that the rogue decided to do damage that round and not the first round because I think you guys could have gotten a kill. But we, we're playing against what rogue demon hunter now, so that's a lot of stuns again. Um, don't need to play Zen Focus T. I don't think versus this. I would definitely play Zen Spheres because they only have the Shaman Kick, but it's only a two second lockout. So I would probably swap Zen Focus T for Zen Spheres, help your Warlock stay alive, and and you could just like heal. But that's fine. That's fine. Um, we don't have the Demon Hunter on our team. That's Static Field Totem. We're gonna get dragged kind of far here. Nice port as well. Sweet maybe. Nice, that's blind on you. We trinket cocoon. 
I wonder if we had to. Let me see. Is this big meta? Meta. Rogue has dance down. Maybe. I guess we'll kind of see how it plays out. As long as the warrior doesn't didn't press any cooldowns there and we didn't overlap, I think you're fine. Good. Good in cap here on the shaman. Nice. Very, very important not to stack first demon hunters. This is big meta. And then he flies. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. I guess he's scared. But yeah, the demon hunter. Yeah, I would just crank the demon hunter. You could probably kill him midair, actually. <laughs> Next time he flies, hopefully your warlock sees it. You could probably just kill him. Like with a bunch of bolts. Uh kidney shot on you. We have disarm in three, two, one. So we're gonna look for a heal here. And then hopefully a disarm on the warrior. Even the rogue. This is Shadow Blade, so it could be it could, not the warrior, the demon hunter. You just want to disarm the rogue. Demon hunters, again, demon hunters, disarm is useless first them. They could just backflip out and just get rid of it. So uh we do get hexed here for free, which is a little unfortunate. We we have no trinket as well, so be careful. Um <clears throat> I would disarm the rogue probably off this. Nice port. Nice. Good. Lasso on you. Should be DR. That's good. Chaos Nova is DR. Again, they're kind of just ruining the stun DRs for your rogue. So this is, I mean, we don't mind it. But the really important thing is to not stack versus this because the demon hunter can do a lot of damage. So, uh, incap on you. Maybe into a fear. Yeah, that's a full fear. Actually, if we had port, we could have ported that, but I don't think we did. Uh, but yeah, good. Good. That's darkness. Oh, we're doing good kidney shot. Probably cheap shots on your... Are they on your Warlock? Yeah. Little Worgen. Meta. Good. Warlock kind of kited really far. Oh, my God. Okay. Good. Zen Focus C. Blind on you. And we killed the Demon Hunter? Oh, my Lord. I cannot believe we just killed the Demon Hunter there. Holy cow. That guy just got crushed. This was... Oof, we take these rounds. Okay. These are the rounds that we take. But this round, just be careful... Don't, again, you want to stay on the pillar. We kind of gave the Shaman a free hex by standing out in the middle. Don't want to stand out in the middle. Stay on your pillar. When you're playing with a Warlock, you want to position between them and their port. So if you, you, you can even stand like here. You know, if your Warlock's out here. Let me see when you got hexed. It was here. Yep. Um, So like pushing out is fine. Like that's cool. But you better get back to the pillar, right? Um, If you can't get back to the pillar to like start healing again then maybe it was a rough time to go for cc because then obviously your team is like taking a lot of damage but yeah we give him a free hex maybe could have incapped it we didn't have it but you want to position like yeah between your warlock and this port that way when they port it doesn't cancel your healing so keep that in mind but i mean overall you know i mean we take these we take these rounds all right that's a round that we take <laughs> um we did forest darkness which was really good rogue lock really good cop Really good comp. So I would probably kill the Demon Hunter. Actually, yeah. Yeah, I would kill Demon Hunter here. We're looking for CC on the Shaman. Cheap shot on the Warrior with a kid, cheap shots on the Demon Hunter. Uh, looks like they're trying to kill you. Really good Infernal here from the Warlock to help peel for you. Um, you just want to port instantly. Yeah, I would just get out of it. We're kiting towards our port, so be careful. All right, good. They stopped going you. Really good. Maybe incap here on the Shaman. Nice port. Nice sweep. Oh, is that was that DR sweep? I think that was super DR. That's okay, but kind of not. You want to definitely save your um, stun DRs for um, for leg sweep, and then we also didn't get our second port off. So now our eminence or our our port is is longer cooldown now, right? So now our port is thirty five seconds instead of a shortened. <sighs> cocoon though it's pretty solid but we that means we overlapped our port and cocoon so next go if they do go you nice in cap here if they do go you you're gonna have to trinket probably careful would you get sheared yep hunt on your on your warlock we don't have cocoon hopefully we they use a wall is what we're hoping for at least rob here would be good maybe after stun could be helpful they have no trinkets though demon hunters definitely kill target by the way yeah Demon Hunter is definitely, definitely kill target. Uh, no trinket. Shaman has no trinket. Hopefully, we get an in-cap sweep uh, while your, your rogue is going for stuns on the Demon Hunter. Nice. Maybe in-cap here. Nice in-cap. Nice port. Beautiful. Make sure you keep renewing mist on yourself, but make sure you throw renewing mist down on your teammates as well. That way, all this time that you're healing yourself, you could also be healing your teammates. 
But we're a few demon hunter. Alright, so this is this is kill right here. This is a fear on you as well. Nice port on the fear. Beautiful. Um, if we can get any CC on the shaman, it'd be great. Shop Demon Hunter's flying. Yeah, Demon Hunter's flying. LOS, no link from the shaman. We have sweep. I don't know if it's on stun yard though. All right, good. All right, not bad, not bad. Uh, this is warrior cooldown, so if we have disarm, we don't have disarm. So uh, it's a little scary. Good cocoon here, beautiful. They break the hex, which is great, but again, be careful when it comes to you know positioning. You definitely want to stay LOS. Sackfield totem, great port out. Uh, we have sweep I, again. I don't know if we're on there on stun yard or not. Uh, normally, you want to save leg sweep to peel for yourself, but this is this is a little scary. <laughs> this gate from the warlock is. A, it's like a little baby gate. That's funny. Every kick's available. Hopefully you have Tiger's Lust. You have Rob too. What you could do right now, what I would do is if I was in this exact situation, is I would get close to this corner right here. Good. And then I would rob this corner. I would rob this corner and then Tiger's Lust and run around. Here, good Rob. Yes. Yes. Good. Oh my God. Oh my God. My heart's racing right now for you. Great job kiting here though. Beautiful job. We do have a we do have gate available. You can still use gate. This gate's a little weird though. I'm not gonna lie. It's one of the weirder gates I've seen. <laughs> For sure. Don't roll towards them. Don't roll. Yeah, don't roll towards them. All right, we do not they are literally trying to kill you. They are trying to kill you. So what I would do is I would just stay on this corner pillar, recover, keep your team alive, and and let them come to you. Let them position um like get poor position. Because that's a hunt on you. A little scary. I think we're dead here. Yeah. Really good job kiting. Like you made them, you definitely made them work for it. But I would, we know what I would do is I would, I would kite from this pillar <clears throat> to the other pillar, like to the middle pillar. And that way your warlock kind of has free reign. Cause right now you're, we're going around the pillar, like doing a little, just around the pillar, around the pillar and your warlock can't help you. Right. Cause your warlock needs to cast spells. He needs, he's Destro. So he needs to cast the fears. Doesn't really have stuns, but he needs to cast a stun. So keep that in mind. You, you're doing a great job kiting, but your teammates, you have teammates that can help you. Um, but not bad overall. Uh, again, positioning wise, we got hexed a few times. So stay, stay close to that pillar. Let your, let your team do the CC. Like as a misweaver, you have a lot of healing output. Our mana is pretty decent. You, you do not have to go in for CC until later in dampening, right? So your cocoon is good too. So the longer you hold off using your cocoon, the stronger it's going to be in dampening. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I think we're playing. What are we playing? Demon Hunter. Warlock. I think we just killed a rogue. Yeah. I think we just killed the uh, rogue when he opens. I mean, it could be warrior. Rob here is decent. You could just zap him get in combat. Actually, the, the shaman puts you in combat. So that's good. Nice. We also have a demon hunter that didn't eyes, so or maybe he did and I didn't see it. Uh looks like they're gonna try to kill you. Um port, beautiful. Yulon, great. Thunder focusing enveloping, great. Port back is great. During stun is really bad. This that's not good because now our port is on a 45 second cooldown now. So very important when you're playing eminence with your um escape from reality. This second port. You always want to make sure it's not while you're stunned. I know you're at like you're at like what like fifty percent. You should be fine in a DR storm in, in a storm ball. You should be okay. Lasso's DR like they just DR stun you. But yeah, now our port is a long cooldown. So now next next cooldown we're rotating is is either gonna be restoral or maybe a fort brew. One of those maybe dampen harm too. Um, one of those is gonna be good. That looks like a hunt on the warrior though. So that's looking at your demon hunter's cranking right now. We're hitting different targets here. Maybe an in-cap on the shaman. I would go for an in-cap on... Oh, we don't have in-cap. We have sweep. Maybe we could sweep the shaman. We can sweep ourselves. Yeah. I, I would sweep if you can, if they're off stun you are. Yeah. Good. Good. Nice. Standing out in the open, though. It, 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 where, where you want to avoid damage, right? So I would kite. Instead of standing out in the open, this is a good port. It's before stuns though, so we might have to use our trinket next. Go, like, go to the next pillar. Because right now we're in the middle. We're in the middle. We're in the middle of the map right now, and everyone's doing damage to you, and we're not avoiding anything. Darkness, good darkness. Life cocoon though too, which is a little unfortunate. 
So what I would do is I would kite from this pillar, maybe gate, and then go to the middle pillar. And that way you're halfway across the map. The team has to use the mobility to get to you. And then hopefully your warrior can peel for you or your warlock can peel. <clears throat> go for in cap here. Oh, cheap shots. We have no way. This is probably trinket dampen. Shadowy duel on you. Maybe. Uh, yeah, good. Good. In cap here. Good port. Good. Second port needs to be out, outside. done. Second port again. You got to port again. You have two, th three, two, one. And now your port's along longer cooldown. Now your port's 35 seconds, not 25. So, again, make sure you use your second port before time's up and you're not in a stun. That way you get the cooldown reduction. We have disarm for the warrior as well. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Wow. Really? I cannot believe we just won that, but great work. Actually, I can't believe it because you did a great job kiting. So good work here. This is a really good game. Uh, my my heart is racing for you. They're just tunneling you down. But yeah, good job here. Good kiting. Get out of the middle of the map. Just get out and then pour, uh, kite from pillar to pillar. That way, especially when you're playing with casters, that way they can help you, help heal for you. And they can, you know, they're actually useful. I try to stay out in the open. Yeah, don't, don't, don't do that. Yeah, so the lock can, yeah, you, you can do that without being in the middle of the map by kiting from one pillar to the next. So, yeah, just go from pillar to pillar, pillar to pillar, gate, and then go back to the pillar. <clears throat> and that way, the, the DPS always stay in the middle of the map. And they're not, like, circling around the pillar, if that makes sense. <clears throat> so now we have Lock, Warrior, versus Rogue, Demon Hunter. Kill target's probably the Warlock. I, I would probably kill the Warlock, I, I would say. Um... Zen Focus T, Disarm, Zen Spheres. That's probably what I'd play versus this. You don't really, you don't need Eminence versus They have one stun. Two, actually, with Shockwave. So, yeah. Um, nice Disarm on the Warrior here. Coil on you. Warrior triggers that Disarm. Kick that Fear. Warrior breaks the Fear. Nice, good healing. Good. Renewing Mist. Get, not, get a, yep, good, good. Yeah, we're doing good right now. Dispel the, oh, one little thing. I think you just dispelled it, but dispel the flame shocks when you can, uh, because the dis, it also dispels immolate, which gives the death shell lock ten percent more damage. So if you dispel the flame shock, which reduces the resto shaman damage and the immolate, the death shell lock does less damage. So keep that in mind. Very important. Good, good healing. Good. This is ascendance. This is cooldown from the shaman. Chain heal. Good port here to stop any hexes on you. I think our demon hunter is flying right now. I don't. What are, are we playing with the warlock? Are we playing with the rogue? Oh, I'm blind, man. Okay, I thought this guy was the warlock for some reason. Yeah, we want to kill the warlock. Um, I guess you don't really have the option to like play on the pillar because you're playing with two melee. But what I would do, so it's 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 weird. But what I would do is I would play in the middle of the map. So <laughs> this is the exact opposite of what you want to do. You have the double melee, right? Your melee gonna be put. They're forced to push in on the warlock. I would be out in the middle, like kind of towards the pillar, but far away. From, like if the warlock, every time the warlock takes a step towards you, take a step back. Like keep cutting the warlock away, because the warriors. If the if you're not pushed in, the warriors never gonna get to you. The shaman should never get to you, and if they do, you could just CC the shaman for free. But with this warlock, what I would do is instead of playing forty yards away from your team, play forty yards away from the warlock. <clears throat> that way they can't fear you. Yeah, good. Yes, yes. So. This is fine. This positioning, as long as I stay here, is fine. If they, if your team starts to move in and LOS you, play like near, like in this area over here. That way, the warlock, you can keep cutting the warlock if they get to you, and the and the warrior, because you don't you don't want to be stacked versus versus team, because fury warriors fury warriors do insane damage. So that's a leap fear on you. We'll see what happens here. Um, seems like they want your rogue pretty badly. Which is fair. Yeah, Rogue is probably the squishiest person. He's trying to get a re-stealth. Maybe you can dispel the Flame Shock. Maybe it's easier. But I think overall doing a pretty good job right now. Um, yeah, but this again, this pillar, it's it's okay. But you're playing with the two melee, right? So your melee are going to be wherever the Warlock is. Hex on you, again, for free. Um, we do have to trinket that. So again, that's just because our positioning is out in the middle of the map. They get our trinket um, when we could have been on the pillar. <clears throat> or out like far away, right? Or cutting them and staying very far away from them. They're on your demon hunter now. Thankfully, the warlock doesn't kick. So nice and focus to here is good. 
Um, we do have Rob for Link or this Earthen Shield, Earthen Wall Totem. <clears throat> I think overall doing a good job here. Uh, we don't have Disarm. We just Disarm the Warrior. War dis great Disarm the Warrior there, by the way. Really good. Storbolt on your Demon Hunter, but I think he immuned it from the, uh, the Leap. So that's really good here. Careful with the lasso. It's just it's just hard. This is actually insane that you only got two points. Uh, two MOR, though. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I mean, listen. There's nothing you can do about it. The Rogue went 06. I didn't even realize it. The Rogue went 06. There's nothing you can do about that, right? This this is one of those match this is one of those games that happen, you know, fairly frequently where a DPS goes 06. You know, it's unfortunate lobby for them. There's nothing you can do about it. Um, there's really not much I saw that you could have helped enable your rogue to get kills because they're they're doing all the stun yours. Oh, you have in caps, but if you're playing with a rogue. And you see that they're going 06, they're struggling. What you could do is say, hey, you know, I could CC the healer when you can you shot the kill target, or, you know? So you could do stuff like that. But overall, I mean, these games weren't bad. Uh, I think the biggest thing I'm notice noticing is just positioning, which isn't hard to do. I mean, isn't, which is hard to do. It's hard to learn how to position. Um, I wouldn't say you're shitty. I wouldn't say you're crappy. I think you're doing a great job. I think you're doing a fantastic job healing. Um, keep your renewing mist on yourself, your teammates. If you can't get on yourself, which is fine because you have healing elixirs, at least try to get it on your teammates if they're both taking damage. Uh, but the biggest thing I see is positioning. Stay on the pillar. It, it's it, it's it, I keep saying stay on the pillar, but there are situations where you don't want to stay on the pillar, right? But for the most part, stay close to the pillar. Hug the pillar, especially versus casters. Um, if you're playing with a caster, you actually kind of want to be a little bit out in the open. So if you're if you're on this pillar right here, and let's just say, for example, the warlock was on your team, right, and you're they're tunneling you to the ground, uh, you want to be on this pillar. And if they push onto you, you roll, right, to the other side of the map, right. You could use the gate, you could gate and then roll, right, and then you or what you could do better yet, and I want to make a video on this, is you could put your port in the middle of the map, right, or you could keep your port here, right, and then go roll to the middle of the map, port. And if they chase you, port back to the middle of the map and then roll to the other pillar. That way, you don't give them the chance to ever let them kill you. So keep that in mind. But great kiting on the on the first time that they targeted you. Um, stay close to the pillar against casters. Try to kite away from the melee. Um, that way, your casters can help heal for you when you're playing against melee. But overall, your healing rotation was fine. I think I don't I think your everything was fine. I would get I would also recommend getting Omni CD to track your teammates' cooldowns and get diminished, please to track DRs on <laughs> on the enemy team because it's going to help with your stuns, your in-caps, if you're playing Song Chi, your songs. And then obviously Omni CD so you don't overlap any cooldowns with them. Those are my recommendations. But that is pretty much it. And then I don't, I didn't comment about it but because I don't normally try to, but try to get some targeting macros as well. You know, targeting binds. Mass will up, mass will down is what I use. A lot of people, and then middle mouse button for yourself, stuff like that. That's going to help uh, increase your awareness as well. But yeah, no, overall, really good disarms on Warriors when they use their burst cooldowns, really good Zen Focus Tees when there are interrupts available. So I, it's not all bad, let me tell you. You did a great job. Just it's the little things that kind of add up. When you're playing a caster, Miss Weaver, that's just what it is. One mistake and it's over. That's <laughs> that's normally what it is. So um, yeah, if you have any questions at all, please let me know. I am more than happy to answer any questions you might have. And that is it for me. Hopefully this was helpful for anyone that was watching. And that's it for me. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you later.